Greetings, I'm Volk, and today I would like to show you the Gwent Tracker. It is a cool overlay tool that I've been using for, I don't know, maybe a couple of months now. It's been around for some time. You might have seen it on my videos, you might have seen it on other folks' videos and live streams as well. It works very nice on top of Gwent, and uh, it's an extremely useful tool that completely replaces uh, pen and paper, for example. This that you're looking at the screen on the screen is the website. It's very quick and easy to type, actually, gwent-tracker.com. You have two buttons, download and donate. Down below, you've got a quick summary or overview of what the tool can do. And below is a statement that this tool is completely free and uh, without any issue that you might get banned. This is an official statement by Marcin from CD Projekt Red. Using this or any other deck trackers is not against our terms of use. However, since this is a third party software, we do not officially support it, as it may have some undesired effects on the game. Which means if you experience bugs or issues or troubles or the game crashes or anything else happens, you cannot blame CD Projekt Red for those problems. With that said, Let's fire up the game and I'll show you what the tool does. The main requirement is obviously that you have to run the tool first. You can allow it to start with Windows if you play Gwent all day long and every day. If you press F1, you're going to see the main screen of the tool. Currently, the version I'm showing and overviewing for you guys is uh, 1.6.7.17. The creator is called Buffy. On this screen here in the top left, you can see all of the decks that you have created. That tool tracks absolutely all of them separately. And here is my favorite Morvan Scouse. You can see that I've played quite a few games with this deck already. My success is not very good because I primarily play in rank, but that's a completely different topic. You have options to track your progress in casual gameplay or in ranked gameplay. Then you have an option to reset or share with others. You can scale up and down the tool. When, it's, when I start the game, I'll show you what exactly scaling means. In the top left, uh, in the bottom left, excuse me, panel, you've got a few options such as show the card rarity, show base strength, show deck statistics, uh, banished cards, group cards, and all the other cool things. In the bottom right corner, you have an option to share the card collection, import the deck that someone else has shared, or reset everything else but accept the statistics. Opening the main menu, you can see again these things. I can show banished cards, obviously, because it's the very beginning of the game. Nothing's going to happen. I can minimize these things if I don't want them displayed all the time. I can right click on the cards on my deck and all the other cards with all the other tools because you have an option to show the opponent's cards as well. And I can see because my opponent has already played one card, uh, we can see here that this card, Barclays Else, is already displayed here and you can again right click in it, on it and uh, in theory it's supposed to display it. There we go. If you play against people, uh, for me at least, it's in the, bottom, in the top left and in the bottom left corner, the default, I can't remember the default user interface, but somewhere you're going to have a couple more overlays showing you the opponent's MMR uh, and your own rating. Currently, I believe the tracker only shows the ranked gameplay ratings. Even if you're playing a casual match, it will still tell you your opponent's rating for ranked matches. Basically, that's it. The tool is extremely light, very easy to use, and very, very useful. Best of all, it's not against um, the rules. So I highly advise you to check it out and maybe use it. It's good for both beginners and advanced players. When the open beta and later on the release of the, the official release of the game happens, there's going to be a huge amount of Gwent gameplay tutorials and guides on my channel. See you next time, guys. Bye bye. Thank you for watching. I hope you have enjoyed the video. Click the like button and help me out. Visit my website vogue.com for daily videos and news. To help me improve and expand, consider becoming my patron with a small monthly pledge. And stay in touch by following me on Facebook and Twitter.